So far in Sundation, we've only been using audio tracks. This week, instead of deleting that blue MIDI track, delete the audio channels instead. You can use your computer keyboard as a MIDI controller in Sundation. To access this feature, go to the View menu and select Show Virtual Keyboard. This brings up a piano keyboard which has notes mapped to your computer keyboard. Sundation defaults to a simple instrument when you create a new software instrument. To audition it, select the track and type on your keyboard. Try the octave menu to change the transposition. How high or low can you go? When using MIDI, you might want to use the metronome, which will give you a beat to record to. Think about the tempo of the piece you're writing. Do you really want it to be 125? I'm going to change the tempo to 70 and turn on my metronome. Then I'll press record and I'll be able to enter MIDI notes. You can change the instrument on the track you just recorded. Right now it's simple, but if I go to the menu on the track where it says simple, I can select a different instrument. I'm going to pick the Wub Machine. Notice my notes are the same, but the timbre is different. If I want to change the settings in the Wub Machine, I need to select a different instrument and reselect the Wub Machine. I'm going to change my LFO speed. Notice if I turn the LFO knob up, I get a wider vibrato. And I can actually automate this parameter by going to the Automate menu and selecting the parameter I want to manipulate. I was just working with the LFO speed, so I pick that. A line appears, and then I can manipulate it over time. When you're done with your automation, turn it off. You can double click your note clip, which will pull up a piano roll, which represents the MIDI information. You can shrink your view. So these are the three notes I just recorded. The piano is on the left and the notes are represented in orange. You can drag a note to change its pitch. Or horizontally to change its length. Sundation is monophonic, which means it will only play one note at a time. You can also use the pencil to draw notes in, but I think it's easier to use the computer keyboard. So you'll want to add some expressivity to your MIDI recording. You can do this with automation. You can change the MIDI parameters on the synthesizer, but you can also change your audio. You can do this by automating the controls such as the LFO, but you can also add volume and panning and other audio effects. Remember, MIDI tracks generate audio. So if I want this to fade out, I can put volume on. To add another MIDI track, just press the plus key with the notes next to it. For this week's assignment, I want you to use a combination of audio and MIDI to create a piece of music. Try to make your MIDI tracks sound as expressive as your audio tracks. And remember, you can always use audio to support your MIDI. For those of you using a combination of Soundation and Audacity, you're able to export MIDI sounds as WAV files in Soundation. Then import that track to Audacity and add your audio signal for the assignment.